Hello everyone, it's Nady, and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing the real versus the fake beauty blender. As you fabulous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. I bought this fake beauty blender off eBay for I think around two or three dollars and the real one was of course from their website for 20. Honestly, makeup sponges and setting powders are the two things that I will never ever splurge on because there are so many dupes that are always the exact same. Which to me says that if somebody else can produce it for that cheap then so should the original company. I know that's a very skewed way of looking at things but that's just how I think of it. I will say though that if these bigger brands did charge less it would kind of make them look cheap so I do understand why they are so expensive but that was just my little rant. Let's go and look at these. So from what I can tell, the packaging is almost the exact same. The only difference is that when I got this, this had a clear sticker on this and this fake one has a 2016 Allure sticker on that. I have no idea if the newer ones do have that, but the one that I have does not. Otherwise, absolutely everything down to the dot placement is the exact same. Although it does kind of look like the barcode on this fake one is a little bit blurry, but that honestly might just be the plastic. Both lids do have the little hole for drying and they came with the exact same directions. Like there is no difference in quality. They're both crystal clear. There is no blurriness on them whatsoever. The pictures are not pixely and they have the exact same wording. Squishing them, they both kind of feel like butts. But not the typical kind of butt, the gym buff kind of butt. But no joke, they do feel very similar. The real one is a tad bit softer, but it's really not even that noticeable. The real and the fake have the same bounce back. They're very squishy, but supple at the same time. Like there really isn't that much of a difference. I was watching other people's reviews of their fake booty blenders and they were saying that theirs was almost hollow, like there was a hole in the middle, but mine does not feel like that at all. It feels just as dense as the real one. But I do always use my Boutete blender wet, so I will go dip this in water and we can compare the size. All right, so this is the real one. It is very full of water, but it is beautiful and here is the fake one. It honestly looked exactly like the real when I was filling it with water, but then when I squeezed the water out, it just deformed it and turned it into this like pile of putty. Like you are not supposed to be able to leave finger imprints in your beauty blender. Eh, like, yeah. Are we all on the same level here? Am I the only one who thinks this looks like a pink peony? Yeah. But the little bottoms here do feel the exact same, so I will go ahead and apply some BB cream using those. Let's go ahead and apply some BB cream to this side. This is the real one, so we can kind of compare. All right, it's blending out amazingly. This is pretty much like any other beauty sponge that I've tried, but it still does work pretty damn good. Actually, you know what? I might like the beauty blender application more than I do with the dupes. Holy shit. That blended out amazingly. This is just a BB cream, so it's really not going to be that full of coverage, but from what I can tell, the application honestly looks pretty damn good. It just blended into my skin so nicely. Okay, so let's try the same with the fake one. All right, there we go. And, uh, oh, uh. It definitely is not blending out as well. Like, it's just kind of like sliding around on my skin. It's not horrible, but it's not like sinking into my skin like the other side. Although, now that I look at them side by side, there really isn't that much of a difference. In fact, I don't think there's a difference at all. I know this fake one is not as pretty or light or fluffy as the real one when wet, but from what I can tell, it looks like it applied my foundation just as evenly and equally on both sides. And I really cannot tell which side wasted more product because these are notorious for sucking up your product and it looks like both of them did that. So because this fake one is so iffy, I would probably rather have the real one, but because this one is 20 fucking dollars, I would almost rather have the fake one. I really don't know because when these were dry, they were totally the same, like 100%. So if you were to apply your makeup with either of these dry, I don't think you would notice a difference. Of course, I could never recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it. And honestly, you could probably find a much better dupe for around the same price that I got this for that isn't all fucked up like this. No, it might not have the Beauty Blender packaging, but honestly, who cares? I mean, yeah, I honestly did have high hopes for this, but it just looks so icky. But there you go. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Nightlife, which does glow in the dark, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest single, One Last Night, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.